Okay, in this video we're going to talk about server-side encryption and how to enable server-side encryption using S3 bucket policies. So in previous videos we did um, default encryption for a bucket through the GUI um, and also how to create a static website and now we're taking all that and we're going to combine it and we're going to use a, um, a bucket policy instead of default encryption. So I'm just going to show what we have right now. We have a bucket with a simple website on it, this one right here. So it's hosted in S3. There is no encryption on it right now. So there's a bucket policy that just allows us to upload objects um, to that bucket. And if we look here, there's no default encryption and we are doing the static website hosting. So what we want to do is we want to enforce a, a default encryption of S3, um, S3 type of encryption when we're uploading objects. And this article here explains how to do that. I'm just going to demonstrate how to do that here, protecting data using server-side encryption with S3 managed encryption keys. So they kind of give you the, the policy right here. I'm just going to walk through how to generate this policy yourself. Um, so what we have is we have the website and I'm going to go and uh, go into the bucket policy here. And as you can see, it's public right now because we're allowing anybody to upload anything. And we're going to, so this policy generator link, this brings up this policy generator right here which I'm going to now um, start using. So the first part is we want to do an S3 bucket policy. We want to deny, um, so we're going to deny anybody that tries to do a put object action. So it's, where is it, right here. So put object and the ARN is right here. So we're going to copy that ARN. We're going to paste it there. We're going to add a, st a slash star. So everything in that bucket, we're going to add conditions. And the condition is uh, we're going to look for the key that's under S3, and it's something about server-side encryption, uh, S3, here it is, server-side encryption, and the first part is that it has to equal true, and this is saying, um, and the condition is null, so deny so basically deny if that header server-side encryption equals true if is not there. So, so this will ensure that there is encryption. It's not, it's not dictating what kind of encryption it is, but we're going to do that in the next step. So we're going to add this statement right here. So now we have a deny of putting objects into that bucket for this specific bucket and the condition is that header AMZ's server-side encryption equals true if it's null. So if it's null, it's going to deny. So we're going to generate the policy. And if you look here, uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate the next statement and then we'll, we'll, paste, we'll paste both statements into the existing policy. So that's the first one. And then the next one is the same thing. So S3 deny for all principles, uh, for S3, and then again, same action, which is put object. So put object right there. And then ARN is the same, so we'll just copy that from here. And then the condition, so now we're going to say that it has to be AES two fifty six, which is, which is the um, the S three type of 
encryption because there are others you can do KMS encryption but we want to specifically say S3 um, encryption so right here uh, AMZ server side encryption and and the value should be AES 256 and here we're going to say the condition is string not equals so if it doesn't equal AES 256 we're going to deny so now we're going to add that statement okay great so now we have two statements the first one says that it has to have that header uh, AMZ server side encryption it has to have that header in the first place and then it also has to have the value of the header equaling AES 256 so now we have these two deny statements we're going to generate the policy and here's it's a bit complicated well not really but we, we can't just copy paste this because we already have a policy here so what we have to do is we just have to add those two statements after this statement here so because we don't want to get rid of this one because this allows us to upload objects uh, sorry, this allows us to retrieve objects or to get objects, and the, and the and the other two, the one we just made, it it enforces encryption when we're adding or putting objects into the bucket. So let's copy the statements, JSON, which are these guys, these two guys right here. Let me see if I have that. Yep. So right there, as you can see, it's everything inside the square brackets. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to add it to here. Now, this is you've got to add a comma to the first statement because we're going to be adding two more statements. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to just, I'm going to just indent it like that. So now we have three statements. The first one is for the get objects, and the next two are for the Put objects. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to save it. Okay, so now, now I updated my bucket policy. Now, if we go back to the website, we could still, we could still access it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to upload an unencrypted file. So let me go to here. So I have these two files. I have versioning enabled. I'm going to upload, uh, and then in the so I've I've made a change to the file. I made it version two, and I'm going to just upload that file without any encryption, just like that. Say no, and actually, as you can see, actually what I should have done is I should have reset everything. There's an error there. Let me try that again. So I'm going to reset everything because it kind of. So that way it's more clear. So now I have, okay, so there's nothing on the status. So I'm going to upload it again. Okay, there. So there's one error. And as you can see, it failed. And if I look at the details, it doesn't really tell me why, but it says forbidden. So it's forbidden because there's no encryption there at all. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now I'm going to try uploading but with the wrong kind of encryption so I'm going to say upload that next and then next and then here for encryption instead of this one I'm going to say KMS and I'll just choose the, the S3 key and I'm going to say upload and as you can see there so it failed again it's forbidden I can't do that. So now I'm going to try for the third time. Now I'm going to select the, the S3 encryption. So add index and then and then here I'm going to select AM, uh, the S3 master key. So that's going to be the AES 256. So that should go through the bucket. There it is. And that should go through the bucket policy. And if we look at this one here, it says AES 256, right there. And now, if we try to um, to view the website, it should show you version two.
There it is, version two. So that's it. So that's how we enabled uh, server-side encryption for S3 type of encryption.